have tuned into the Lady O Show tonight, and I have some exciting guests in my studio with me on tonight. I have Pastor Anthony Rosen and First Lady Rosen here with me in the studio on tonight, and I'm excited. Let's just give them applause real quick. Let them know we appreciate them being in the studio with me. What I'm going to do tonight is basically talk with Pastor Rosen about what's going on in his area, in his ministry, in his church. Just to give you a little brief information about him, he's a pastor out of the Glen Burnie area. Also, he's a book writer, author, soon to be coming out really soon. He'll get an opportunity to share that information. As well as I have First Lady here, or Lady, I like Lady better than First Lady, because she's the only lady, yes, all right? Yes, <laughs> so what we're going to do is have get an opportunity to actually talk with her about some great things on the women's department side in that order. So let's do this. Let's hear from Pastor. He will share some information with you. S stay tuned because this man is an awesome, anointed man of God. He spoke some prophetically in my life a couple of years back, and I'm telling you, I'm walking in it now. So listen to him as he gives you some information about the location of the ministry, what's going on in that area, and I had opportunity to review some things that going on so he will share more and we'll come back all right pastor it's in your hands okay well first I want to say thank you for uh, having us here today this is definitely a tremendous opportunity yes um, a wonderful door that's been open for us to just share um, things of God the things that are going on um, in ministry in our lives we're Please. just excited about what God is doing in our lives in terms of ministry and even personally. Um, so we're just really happy to be here. I well, just thank appreciate you. you. Let's give him a hand. Let's give Pastor a hand in the studio. We appreciate you having you. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And I also um, want to thank God for having my wife with me here tonight. All right, awesome. Uh, Lady Sherry, I know she was already introduced, but um, I just want to thank God for her Great. being at my side. And, Beautiful. Um, the man that finds a wife finds a good thing. A good so thing. I got my good got thing you. with me tonight. All right, I so, love that already. Um, good okay. thing. <laughs> good thing. Listen, before we go any further, if you need to call into the studio, you can call in at 1 855 835 5857. That's extension 1. Now, if you need to text, we're taking text messages on tonight. That number is 443 642 9403. Now, go on, Pastor. Okay, um, I guess I don't know where to start. Um, well, tell me a little bit about what's going on at the ministry. I know where to start. Okay, Can I change great. it a little bit? Sure. Let's do this. I want to talk about myself okay, great. and uh, family. Okay. And then we'll move into ministry. Sounds good. Things great. like that. Sounds good. Sounds okay. real good. All right, all right. Well, first on the Lady O show. Well, I don't. I, it's not my show. That's why I asked. <laughs> right, you good. You good. <laughs> um, no. Um, I just. I just thank God. I, I'm a very big proponent of family, and I believe that family's first. Mm -hmm. Family is my first ministry. Yes. And so, to that end, I'm grateful to God to be married to uh, the most wonderful woman wonderful. any man could ask wonderful. for, that God could bless him with. Wow. Um, in the person of my wife, um, I'm just appreciative for God for how um, he has put her in my life and has made me who I am because wow. of her. That's beautiful. Um, we, don't, we don't oftentimes give our wives enough credit for our development yes. and our growth and progress in every area. Yes. But um, when you have the right help me beside you, you can do and become anything. Great. Let's and, get the, um, I like that. I like that. I like that. A good help me. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Great. And out of this union, we have three beautiful children, um, mm -hmm. Haley, Haven, and AJ. Um, they're all here with us in the tonight. Studio. They're in the studio. <laughs> um, it's been a very uh, challenging and busy week of ministry right, okay. so um, we haven't had a lot of time to spend together, together. Okay. so this is the I don't know what even this is the third fourth or fifth evening that I've been out the house wow. so I said okay I can't do this anymore yes. I can't leave them anymore so even if they got to sit in the, <laughs> in the in the uh, 
in the lobby. And I just need him with me. That's the Cornelius Stain Seniors out there babysitting. Oh, okay. I got to pay him. See that? <laughs> but anyway, go on. This yeah, is awesome. So, so I wanted them, I just needed them here with us. Yes. I don't want to go too long without seeing them and spending time. And when I, I can hear what they say, I can also discern what they don't say. And yes. because they are my first ministry, yes. it's important that um, they understand that they do come first. That's beautiful. So um, I, I needed them to be with here, be here with me today. I'm just a, a old-fashioned, young, old family man. So you you're know? an old man. I'm an old man. I'm an <laughs> with old a young man body. With a young body, <laughs> oh, just trapped in this old forty-one-year-old body, and. Wow. Um, so, um, but I just, I'm, I'm a simple guy, you know, I just have different things I love. I love um, nature. So what are um, some of the things that you do past time outside of ministry? Maybe let me ask that question. Okay. Um, this may be a little weird to some. Wait a minute. Excuse me. We have a phone call that has just come in on the Lady O Show. Hello? Hello? Lady O Show. Hello? Hello? Yes. You can go keep yes. talking, please. You on the Lady O show? Um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm just calling. I'm just calling in to listen to the mess, to, to listen to the broadcast. Thank you so much. What is your name and where are you calling from? Um, my name is Wilma Dita and I'm calling from Baltimore. Awesome. Are you a part of the ministry? Yes, I am. Beautiful. How many? Um, so let me just ask you some questions about your pastor. How do you feel about this great man of God? <laughs> Well, I I love him, and I believe that he is the man that God has called for this ministry, and um, he is a man of integrity. Beautiful. And a man of faith. Wow. Faith and integrity, and that's important in the time that we are in today. We need men and women of God that has integrity and love God, and that's beautiful. So how many years have you been in the ministry? Well, I've been with I, I've been with this ministry for I would say maybe four years. Beautiful, awesome. So that says a lot about who you are. That's great. Stability. That's great. So we appreciate you calling in. Would you like to say something on behalf of your pastor? He's at the mic. <laughs> 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 hey Wilma, <laughs> Sister Wilma, I love Mr. you. Too. I love, I you, love too. you, first lady. I love you too. <laughs> Great, that's beautiful. Well, thank you for calling in. We appreciate you calling in on the Lady O show. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Have a great day, evening. Amen. Okay, I, great. I love my members. Uh, that was a, so. <laughs> that's great. And we haven't been in the studio that long and already a call mm -hmm. come in. So we want to celebrate this pastor. <laughs> integrity, a man of integrity. Mm -hmm. That's important. And that's what she said. One of your permissioners said, a man of integrity. Mm -hmm. And in a day and time like this, is that very important, pastor? I think that is is, is of utmost I'm importance. Wait a minute. Excuse me. We're getting really busy <laughs> up in here. You are tuned into the Lady O Show. Hello? Hello, this is Grace from the Kingdom. Wow, Hello. another, can you give your full name again? Grace Bennett. Great, nice having you calling on the Lady O Show on this evening. Um, now, how long have you been in the ministry and what do you want to say about your great pastor? I want to say that my pastor is a great speaker. We learned from him. Um, I'm trying to almost lost for words. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, great. That's good when you're excited about your leader and your pastor. That's wonderful. But he's a great man of God. He's a great teacher. Great teacher. A great teacher, a great speaker. And, you know, we just learned so much from him as a leader. Wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's good when you can say that as a member of the ministry, that a good teacher, a good leader, that's awesome. What are some of the things you want to share with him to lift his heart? Because sometimes we forget leaders because they put so much out. So I want you to give him a, a, a congratulations or something on behalf of his wife and himself. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, 
Which you want to pass me, Gina? I'm very sorry because of the wind was so thin. Okay, that's quite all right. I would like for you to say congratulations or give an accolade out to your pastor. Well, I just want to say congratulations to my pastor, not just only him, just being my pastor. You know, uh, it's someone that I actually just could look up to, uh, to learn from, uh, even as guardian. You know, I know that through him, you know, in teaching, Myself personally, and wow. teaching me, yeah, so I have learned so much, you know, as I was led out um, in the ministry. Uh, I know that I can go to him and talk to him, and at the same token, that he can um, give me answers that I'm looking for. Wow, um, that's beautiful much that you know he does for us and for me that is i know beautiful. that any point in time that he's he's there he's there he's there he's a man no that you can count day, on no matter what, what time of day or night he's there if he's a blessing to me wow that says a lot let's celebrate this men this member that said so many great things about his leader on tonight wow that must be very encouraging to you pastor yes love you sister grace thank you so much thank you thank you for calling in again you are tuned into the lady o show with pastor rosen and his first lady lady rosen mm -hmm. <laughs> great back to you pastor so how do you feel your members are giving you some great um accolades about how you are as a leader and a pastor how do you feel about that wow i'm i'm, I'm overwhelmed i'm yet humbled um and it, it's certainly an honor to serve yes. uh the people of god uh the two people that called in are very near and dear to my heart wow. as they are the most senior members oh, almost beautiful. the most senior member of our of our yes. church so uh they really undergird me in prayer they cover wow. me um they serve with the right attitude with integrity and I appreciate God um, oh. and the God in them oh, that's and that beautiful. they cover my, me and my wife uh, they, they really really even when my wife was sick um, and came home from the hospital she couldn't walk she couldn't do much of anything wow. and Lady Grace Bennett met Sister Grace Bennett wow. she came to the house every day and took care of my wife for about beautiful. a month let's celebrate um, this just, lady just, let's give just her hand clap beautiful. I think that's beautiful Sister uh, Wilma was dropping off food every day, and just, wow. I mean, they just really took care of us. So I love them. That's love beautiful. Them. Thank you so much um, for calling in and talking about your pastor on this evening. We're expecting some more calls to come in, but in the meantime, you being the pastor of the ministry, what is your greatest respect as far as when you step on that platform to minister to the people of God? What have you? What is the most important thing? Um, I think the most important thing that must happen is that you must feed the people. Mm -hmm. um, you must you mm -hmm. must operate in complete integrity. Mm -hmm. uh, this this is not the season or the day where you can play games mm -hmm. in the pulpit. I mean, some may, and they may be clever enough to. I don't know if I'm clever <laughs> enough to, so I got to keep it pure, yes. <laughs> as yes. as pure as I can. Um, I think you have to you have to preach the word of God. Um, be careful not to inject too much of yourself mm -hmm. or too much too much of anything other than the pure, pure. word of God. I think mm -hmm. that 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 key word that we keep going back to is integrity. Integrity. Um, and integrity has to be seen in the pulpit. Um, how you handle the word of God. It has to be seen outside of the pulpit. And I would dare to say that your integrity means more outside of the pulpit in, in, than it does in the pulpit. Absolutely. We have great orators around the world, yes. um, but but what really changes lives and and really transforms people into what they need to be is when they can see an example of integrity, integrity. and leadership and humility and true humility. True humility. Um, I, I think that's important. I think you know, as as pastors and preachers, oftentimes. Um, we are either deified or we are demonized. Mm -hmm. You know, they either make gods or demigods out of us, or they make complete demons and devils out of us. <laughs> <laughs> so we go from one extreme to, to the other. Enough. But one of the things we, we can't do 
and or or, or or struggle with is just being humanized. You know, I'm sure some people um, saw the show, The Preachers of L.A. Yeah, they you know, I, I, and and how do you feel about that show, Pastor? Well, I mean, I have my misgivings about the show, my mixed emotions. But one of the premises that I did say was important. Um, I believe it was, um, I think it was Noah Jones, and he said that a lot of times um, we allow people to put us on pedestals that we can't really live on, and that we don't really deserve to deserve to be on. And I do agree with that because what it does is it robs us of our opportunity and necessity to be human. We okay. almost are being forced Force. into hypocrisy Absolutely. because we know at the end of the day as anointed as appointed we can preach a house down but when we come out the pulpit there's a life that we have outside. to live there's a life outside there's there's challenges and struggles and issues just like everybody else walking down the street well let me ask you this because you said struggles when you say struggles <coughs> in the body of Christ and leaders because we're flesh first mm -hmm. how do we what do you deal with as far as life when you're going outside of the box mm -hmm. when you were like before you step in the platform what is do you have a study time do you pray do you an accessory how do you stay focused on the things of God because it's easy to get distracted mm -hmm. with different struggles sure um, you have to be extremely intentional mm -hmm. about everything that you do mm -hmm. um, when you live a life as such you operate a lot in the spirit Mm -hmm. um, and so as we understand the Bible even says that the flesh wars against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and so we have to remain aware of that constant battle and just learn how to put certain um, uh, I guess you can call boundaries or uh, systems in place to keep mm -hmm. you where you need to be okay. I know for me you, and then everyone everyone has to know what works for them okay. for me what works for me of course is I have to do a lot of studying um, a lot of prayer mm -hmm. and even meditation okay. you know that's a lot of times we don't do that but we have a phone call a excuse phone me call. pastor <laughs> we have a phone call again how are you on the Lady O show how can I help you good evening this is Lady Core Carter oh, and first I'd you. like to congratulate Lady O on a wonderful show this is my first time tuning in Will we give you a hand clap twin that's my twin <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much, Lady Cora, for calling in. On tonight, I'm giving you an opportunity to share and congratulate them for being on the air tonight. So we're going to give you an opportunity to do that now. Absolutely. Um, I did call to give a shout-out to Pastor Scott Rosen and co-pastor. I call her co-pastor, right. Sherry Rosen, because this couple is a couple that can be emulated in all aspects oh, of life. That's they beautiful. are dedicated, they are sincere about ministry, and firsthand I have seen the hand of God work in their life. So I want to give you guys a shout out and tell you to keep on doing what you're doing oh, because God oh, is not finished with you yet. Love you. Love you. We love you too. I know, um, and I appreciate you for calling in and thank you for the shout out. I know there's a lot of great things happening in your area. Also, we want to give a shout out to Pastor Bishop Elect. Yes. Let's yes. give opportunity to say something yes. about Bishop Elect. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you want me to? Yes. Okay, please. no problem. Um, what do I say about Bishop Elect Carter? <laughs> um, it's so much to say. Yes. Bishop Designate Carter, Bishop Carter. Um, I I'll say this. Um, and uh, what was that? Uh, a few years ago, I can't remember the year right now. <laughs> it's so sad because it's a very significant event when you hear what I'm about to say. A few years ago, my dad passed away. And um, I lost my dad. It hurt, you know, went through the process of mourning. And, you know, of course, we still miss him. And um, th it always leaves uh, an emptiness, a void when you leave as a parent. Mm -hmm. um, regardless of the situation, as they say, death is always a stranger. Yes. And um, his name was James Lee Rosen. Um, a few years after my father passed, I was asked to preach at our church. Mm -hmm. And um, after I preached, it was a couple of months that went by, and uh, Dr. Carter called me wow. and said, um, you know, I, I, I listened to you preach, but more than, more than that, I, I just felt a connection to you and, and I wanted and I just want to see or investigate you know what this is this could be God I sense that God is you know um, doing something 
in yes. the kingdom. And from that, um, a, a fellowship has been birthed, um, a personal, you know, relationship with with myself, my wife, and and, they, and the two of them. Um, a kingdom impact fellowship, covenant fellowship right. has been birthed, Absolutely. which is a new, um, great up and coming fellowship of pastors um, throughout the city of Baltimore. Um, Virginia, Arizona, um, wow. and, and, and God is just really expanding our borders and enlarging our territory as we minister to to the people of God. And the uniqueness of this fellowship and the uniqueness of, of Dr. Carter's heart yes. was that he didn't necessarily want to go after the big name brand folk mm -hmm. and, you know, the right. people with the mega churches. He just yes. wanted to minister to to some of us whose churches are growing yes. <laughs> and, and don't have such a, a huge name and, you know, huge membership. But he just wanted to make sure that we were okay and that we were healthy wow. and comfortable in the calling that God has put on our lives wow. and I'll end with this the irony of this man is the fact that God took a James Lee out of my life and, gave you and a, then gave me a James Lee Carter. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. And isn't that yes. beautiful? Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely beautiful. That is absolutely awesome mm -hmm. how God put a man of God in your life. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that one tonight. And thank you, Lady Cora, for calling in. We'll be talking soon. You know we love you, twin. <laughs> Did we lose her? Okay, we probably lost her, but anyway, we appreciate the accolades of what he, um, you said about Pastor Bishop sure, Carr, sure. Bishop Elect. Sure, yes. Bishop Elect. Mm -hmm. um, now, your church is named Kingdom Nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. What prompted you to name it Kingdom mm -hmm. Nation? Hmm. Um, well, the the original name of my church was the Kingdom Church mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ, and then a few years after we were into the ministry, the Lord just impressed upon me uh, to rename the church. After we had gone through some transitions mm -hmm. and just really needed to, um, I guess, almost rebrand, start over, fresh, okay. start new. And God gave me that name um, as I was in study and in prayer. He began to talk to me about um, it was never his intent for us to just be uh, a church, but, but to really f fully accomplish the plan and the will of God. Mm -hmm. um, he calls a person. He goes from a person. Then he goes to a family, then he goes to a tribe, and then he ultimately ends wow. up with a nation. a nation. And he said, I'm going to raise up a nation that shall, shall obey, obey. me. Wow. And so it was out of that experience, and I'm really, really, really shortening it. Um, it was out of that understanding of the process. Um, that the name Kingdom Nation came was arisen. About. It came about. Well, let me do this. Um, kingdom Nation is an awesome name. When you hear Kingdom, you about Kingdom work. Absolutely. It's not church work. It's not Kingdom all. work. Not at all. And that's what I love. What I'm going to do, I want you to put your name of your ministry out there along with where you're located, the address, okay. so people that are tuning in will know where to find you in your ministry. Okay. The name of the church, again, is Kingdom Nation Church and Ministries. We're located at 900. 900 South Crane Highway, Glen Burnie, Maryland, 21061. Again, you are tuned into the Lady O Show, and if you would like to call in, you can call in at 1 855 835 5857, extension 1. If you would like to text a message to this beautiful, these beautiful leaders in the studio, the text number is 443 642 9403. Again, you are tuned into the Lady O Show. We, hear, we have here in the studio with me on tonight Pastor Anthony Rosen and Lady Sher Sherry Rosen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of change up a little bit because we're going to be taking a break soon. I would like to ask you a little bit about you in ministry, lady, and Lady Cora said co-pastor. Uh, <laughs> Did you catch that? All right, so what's going on there in that ministry with the women's department? Um, well, we are, first let me just say uh, thank you again for having us. We are excited to be here. And uh, we are new to the Glen Burnie area, and as our Church establishes itself. I'm just excited about what God is doing. We have a great group of women in our wow. ministry, a very diverse group of women that have powerful, awesome gifts and testimony. And 
Awesome. Great thing. Listen, we're going to have to take a break. Again, you have tuned into the Lady O Show. We will come back with Lady Cherie Rose and we'll share about the women's side. All right. Thank All right. you. Only in the forest can you see this. <laughs> but nothing beats the moment you see that. Cool! And that's your child's eyes opening up to a world of possibilities. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Learn about forests near you and discover cool things to do when you go. And you might just see this. Visit discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Free stuff for you just for listening to this station. Yo, we got your attention? Here's how it works. You click on the radio loyalty banner right now and sign up. Then you keep on listening like you already do. But now you earn points. Those points add up, and you can trade them in for cool stuff in the radio loyalty store. Earn more points by sharing your station with friends on Facebook and Twitter, answering surveys, and by using the apps in the new player's app store. Pretty simple. Free stuff just for doing what you already do. Radio loyalty. Click the banner to join now. Did you miss talk lately last night? Well, here's a snippet of what you missed. Can you tell if the leftovers from this dinner party are beginning to grow bacteria that could lead to severe diarrhea, vomiting, and stomach cramps? Listen. You can't see it either. Get leftovers into the refrigerator as soon as possible. Spoiled leftovers can make you very sick or worse. Roughly 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year, but you can keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Brought to you by the USDA, HHS, and the Ad Council. So, Jacqueline. Yes, Mom? I wanted to talk to you about something and... Oh, wait. Hold on. I just got a text. Oh, there's another one. Wow. Busy, busy me. So, anyway... Oh, wait, Mom. I just got a message. My friends keep commenting on my comment. Oh, there's another one. So many comments on my comment. Oh, I can't wait to watch TV tonight. Playoffs! Hey guys, check out my new video game. Pew, pew. Wait, wait, mom, what? Huh? What? Hold What'd on. you say? Wait a second, huh? What? This weekend, unplug. Take your family to the forest. There's nothing in the world like experiencing nature firsthand. Trees, paths, bluebirds, streams, getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. To find the forest nearest you, go to discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Hi, I'm LeVar Burton, and I'm proud to be a book person. How do I choose a book? Sometimes it's the cover, sometimes it's the title. I guess I'm pretty visual. If a book's really impressing me and the writing is really good, I will peek and see what the last paragraph is. Because the endings of books should rock you. I am a book person. And if you're a book person, too, read to a child and spark a lifetime of ambition. Join me at bookpeopleunite.org because reading is fundamental. A public service announcement brought to you by Reading is Fundamental, Library of Congress, and the Ad Council. Green light. Hey, girl. School zone. I'm getting hungry. Car changing lanes. You want to meet me for pizza? Stop sign. Intersection cleared. Yeah. Street. Pizza sounds good. Ball in street? Girl in street! <gasps> it's hard to concentrate on two things at once, like texting and driving. Stop the text. Stop the wrecks. How will you stop texting and driving? Tell us at stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. So, Jacqueline. Yes, Mom? I wanted to talk to you about something and... Oh, wait. Hold on. I just got a text. Oh, there's another one. Wow. Busy, busy me. So, anyway... Oh, wait, Mom. I just got a message. My friends keep commenting on my comment. Oh, there's another one. So many comments on my comment. Oh, I can't wait to watch TV tonight. Playoffs! Hey, guys, check out my new video game. Wait, 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 mom, what? Huh? What? What'd you say? Wait a second, huh? This weekend, unplug. Take your family to the forest. There's nothing in the world like experiencing nature firsthand. Trees, paths, bluebirds, streams, getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. To find the forest nearest you, go to discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Time to enjoy your TV better, your internet better, and your phone better. Starting as little as $40 a month. Xfinity by Comcast offers the best solutions for all your entertainment needs. Choose from thousands of on-demand titles, stream movies, and shows on any of your devices. Control your DVR on the go from anywhere. 
And now introducing Xfinity Start Over. Restart a show that's already in progress. Now you won't miss a minute of your show when you're running late. How about some of the nation's fastest internet speeds, not only at home, but when you're on the go with Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots? How about having the most intelligent home on the block with lighting and temperature control, 24-7 security, and fire all from any PC or tablet? All services are back with a 30-day guarantee and packages starting at just $49.99. You can't lose. Don't delay. Local reps are waiting for your call. Just dial 866-824-4019. Again, that number, 866-824-4019. You have tuned back into the Lady O Show, and here again we are sitting here with these wonderful leaders, Pastor Rosen and Lady Sherry Rosen. And what I'm going to do, we had when we left the air, we were asking her some questions about her women's ministry and what's going on in that area of ministry. So what I'm going to do, you're going to hear her back again. Mm -hmm. All right, Lady. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just um, uh, just talking about how blessed we are to have just such a great dynamic group of women in our ministry and I, I believe that you know God is about to do some really really special things through this specific group of women um, we're preparing uh, for the harvest oh great for awesome. the harvest you know um, they're 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 willing a lot of them have um, discovered their gifts and callings through this ministry and are ready to just testify and to impart into others to bring them to Christ mm -hmm. so we're in the process of of redefining our women's ministry okay. um, and, and um, we're just excited. We're so you're excited. excited. Yeah. So great. Yeah. So lady, what do you do in your pastime? What are some of the great things that you love to do and outside of the ministry, outside of the church? Because we first ladies are sometimes the forgotten ones or feel like nobody's there for us to reach out to us. So what do you do in your pastime? Um, well, I have three um, very important things that keep me very busy. Okay. Um, I love my children. I love Beautiful. my family. And I love my church family. And I'm blessed because I have a great group of of women who love me wow. and um, not just in the ministry but God has seen fit mm -hmm. to just bless me with a strong network of friends Beautiful. and family and I'm grateful for that so there's never a time when I don't feel like I have someone mm -hmm. that I can talk to you know God he loves me enough to, <laughs> to send blessing. people who love me wow. as well you know so so I just um, I'm in the process of of kind of figuring out what it is that God has for me. Um, All right, cool going, back to, <laughs> going back to um, school after Great, awesome. um, what almost 17 years wow. um, it's been since I've graduated from college and um, venturing back and going well, and do getting it. my master's and it's um, intimidating and scary and exciting all at the same time but I know I have to do it you, and you I know can I do have it. to do it because God won't let me rest well and you know so. what you can do it because I'm actually in school my law degree wow. and um, it's really amazing and um, it's been really hard but I'm accomplishing something that I've always wanted to do yeah. so you can do it you know because at sometime in our lives we have to do something that satisfy us or satisfy where we can go a little bit further. Mm -hmm. I think education is really important, mm -hmm. especially in the church sector. We need it because as women come into our ministry, they want to see what we do, we're we doing. You agree? Absolutely. You agree? Well, it's, it's interesting because after um, almost 17 years in um, the field of human resources, wow. the Lord is shifting me, and I've always been fascinated with the human mind and how that wow. connects to our spirit. And I think sometimes in the church there's such a disconnect between mental health and spiritual health right. and we confuse the two sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, my my educational pursuit is gonna be in psychology. Psych I was gonna say psychology. Yeah, awesome. yeah, from a counseling perspective and um how how the two worlds collide and, and you know what that will help in the ministry too because you do and I'm, I'm going to put this out there 
in the, in the air is a lot of mental illnesses in the body of Christ, and they are not being dealt with. And Absolutely. you have mental, you have bipolar, schizophrenia, you have all kinds of people in the ministry, and they don't know how to cope, they don't know how to mm -hmm. deal. But we need to talk about those areas mm -hmm. because we're lacking. We are shouting, we are singing, we're doing, but we're not dealing with issues. Well, and that's exactly my point. Wow. You know, there are so many times when we're praying and we're laying hands. Um, when when people just simply may need a diagnosis and it's something chemical, it could be it chemically, oh, right? Absolutely. So. And you know what? I love you already, <laughs> lady, because <laughs> believe it or not, you have people that are chemically balanced off. Yes. And it has nothing to do with them being demon possessed, no. anything like that. They just need help. They may need medicines to kind of like balance them out to get them together. And that's beautiful that you all are seeing that in ministry because a lot of leaders don't pay no attention to it. Well, what happened uh, several years ago, um, I lost my mother to Alzheimer's um, mm -hmm. back in um, 2009. Nine. Thank wow. you. And my mother was a praying woman. She was a righteous woman. Um, she was a great example to me yes. of a woman who served the Lord. She lived her life for God. Um, but her mind, there was something that started happening. Yes. She started losing her memory, her cognition. Mm -hmm. And the, the doctor explained it so beautifully. It's like she had um, a heart attack in her brain. Wow. There was nothing spiritual. It wasn't anything. It was anything. strictly health It was strictly physical. Yes. And, you know, so often we, we would, you know, demonize people and, and say that they lacked faith if they suffered from depression or any kind of mental health issues and it was at that point where I prayed because I was confused because yes. I had been taught all my life Why? if you keep your mind on God he'll keep you in perfect peace and I saw my mother Going tormented through. almost wow. by the loss of her memory wow. and ever since then I've just been so fascinated um, with the human mind and how it relates Real to the us physical and the, and the health, spiritual, yeah, and the spiritual all right. that component. Can yes, I just pastor. interject because yes, I, I just want to say this, the, uh, an interesting aspect of um, my mother-in-law's process mm -hmm. was the fact that um, of course she was losing her memory, her cognition, and it, she had even um, uh, degenerated to the place where we had to finally commit her to a home yes. that could properly care for her. But what was interesting was that even though she could look at my wife, her daughter, and not remember her name, she could look at me and think that I was someone from her past, maybe in the yeah. army. Mm -hmm. She would look at our daughter and think that our daughter was Sherry. And, yeah. and at that point, she was living with us. So she really did not have strong cognition. cognition. But when we walked into church, she knew, wow. she knew how to praise Every God. Time. She wow. knew how to read Isn't the scriptures. Amazing? She knew how to speak in tongues. She knew wow. how to dance. lift her hands, dance. And as soon as as soon as she would come out of the church, she would go back into she would that go state. back into that because wow. and and what it said to me was that there obviously obviously a there's connection. something in your spirit that is always connected, connected. to God, it was a connection. regardless that's of what's what, going absolutely. on in your flesh. Yes, and absolutely. That, is, that 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 really spoke wow. volumes to that me. Wow, that speaks volume. You need just okay. sharing that with me mm -hmm. that she was able to identify the presence of God. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, what an awesome. And even when she was in her final days, as she was, you know. Soon before she transitioned, her caretakers would always say, "Well, she's, you know, she prays for the staff, and she mm. she still reads her Bible." And it was that was amazing to me because my mother wasn't always saved, mm. so you know, her spirit never forgot that she that was saved. she was saved. It's not amazing. You know, so it was so the spirituality. It, yeah, it helped me with her transition. Great, it awesome. helped give me some peace about wow. it. But, yeah. So. Let's, we appreciate you. Let's give Lady Rose in a hand how Thank she was you. able to share some information about the ministry. I'm going to now go back to Pastor and I want to talk, I want him to talk about his soon upcoming book that's coming out. But before he do that, can he give the address, the location of the church? Because somebody may be listening in that's in the Glen Burnie. Listen, you can call 1 855 835 5857 extension 1 or you can text us 443 642 9403 
Again, you're tuned into the Lady O Show. We have some great leaders in the studio with us, Pastor Anthony Rosen and Lady Shari Rosen. We're going to ask now the pastor to kind of like give me some information about this upcoming book. I need to hear what's going on because you got some great things happening. <laughs> He's the man. <laughs> I don't know about all of that. But go um, on, Pastor. Well, it's it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Um, this book is birthed out of a very real and personal, um, I guess you could use the word struggle mm -hmm. or conflict, inner conflict, in that I've had the unfortunate advantage mm -hmm. of knowing uh, very successful people in ministry, uh, being very connected to people that we would consider to be very successful. Mm -hmm. And that success was juxtaposed against where I perceived me to be in ministry, mm -hmm. which was not successful, because I was gauging success by all of the wrong stuff. Wow. And so out of that experience and out of life's experience, when you're trying to find your significance, mm -hmm. you do a lot of dumb things. Wow. You do a lot of unnecessary things. You do a lot of ungodly things. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of things that, 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 that may be... Um, satisfy your flesh or your emotions mm -hmm. but they're really killing you wow and so out of that i just had to dig deep inside and really pull apart myself and pull apart my life and open up my heart and open up my mind and open up my spirit and and dissect it and look at the process that i was in i was in a process of killing myself while trying to live because wow. I wanted to live so bad wow. of, of what I call life. life so out of that experience this book was birthed which is entitled dying to live wow awesome and, title and um, it's just a book um, that speaks to some of the personal experiences some of the examples from scripture some of the examples from you know corporate um, settings and experiences that I've, I've had that, that just speak to how we make a lot of wrong decisions in our efforts to live and be significant but the things that we do are really killing us wow. and just learning how to reverse those things become comfortable in the skin that we're in and just learn how to live because even um, Job said if a man dies shall he, shall he live again all of my appointed time I'll wait, wait until my change comes and another translation says if a man dies if he lives again mm. he'll know how to wait because he has hope he has hope, he has hope. Wow. and you have to have hope during transition mm -hmm. you have to believe that God's hand is on your life just like he's on the next person's hand wow. and when you have that hope you will pass from death to life wow. and that's what the, the premise book. of the book is all about the now piece. it goes deep it goes deep. I, I talk about some things that people probably heard in the rumor mill. Yeah. I settle those things. You settle in the book. I settle them in the book. <laughs> I talk about some things that I've dealt with, I've struggled with in my personal life, in my marriage, in relationships, and friendships, and wow. family. Mm -hmm. I, I go there. I really go you there. You go there. And I, and I think it's necessary that I go there. So is, would that word be you're going to be transparent? I'm going to be world. transparant. I'm going to use wisdom. Yes. Because but, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tarnish myself. Right, exactly. <laughs> but I'm going to be transparent. I'm wow. going to be open because I think that's what people need. The Bible says people overcome by the blood of the Lamb or by the word of their testimony. testimony. And we don't testify anymore. Right, uh, we like to paint a, f a picture and a facade that, that everything is okay and we have the perfect family with the white picket fence and the dog. That I do have right. a dog. You do have a dog. Uh, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Isis. That's my baby. Um, <laughs> give a hand. But, uh, give yeah, give a hand to Isis. Amen. Wow. A beautiful Siberian husk. Can we put her on? The, oh, no, this, we're not live on TV. Okay. I want to put a picture of her. Y'all can't see her on the radio. But, uh, well, we'll come into TV soon. Okay, well, right, we, so I'm going to bring Isis with you. Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But um, so 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 I forgot what I was saying. You um, were talking about how people just like transparent. Yeah, yeah, we're not work. transparent, mm -hmm. and so and so I I think it's important that we, with wisdom, mm -hmm. share our testimony, and really and really take people walk people through a process because I think the best the best way for a, to help a person is when a person knows 
that you've been where they are. Yes. And you've come through and have come out. And now you can walk them out step by step. There's nothing that they've done that you can't relate to. There's no piece of the process that you're ignorant to. I know what it feels like to be suicidal. I know what it feels Vinny. like to be depressed. I know what it feels like to feel like the world hates you and the world is laughing at you. I know You've all of those there. feelings. Wow. I've been there. I know what it feels like to be in the pulpit and wish that God would just burn my church down and just, my I know God, what it feels like. I know what it feels like to be <sighs> depressed and preach on top of depression and preach suicidal. I that. know what it feels like. And, and so it, even though church is my and ministry is my context. Mm -hmm. This book is bigger than church and ministry. This is for the janitor the and the CEO, the, the CEO. lawyer, mm -hmm. the doctor, you know, for, for anyone in corporate. I mean, this church is for, er this book is for everyone because wow. it's a book about life. Dying to live. Well, I tell you, I'm going to be excited when that book come out. Listen, that's going to be a bestseller. It already sounds like a bestseller. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> so listen, you're going to have to stay tuned because dying to live. Dying to live. We have a scheduled publish date of November the 1st. Put that out there again. Put it out there again. Our, our scheduled publish date is November the 1st. Listen, call us here at one 835 5857 extension 1. Text us also on 443-642-9403. Again, you are tuned into the Lady O Show. We're excited. We have, again, Pastor Rosen, Anthony Rosen, saying here with us with his beautiful first lady lady rosen and we are enjoying them on tonight again the book that's coming out possibly november, november 1st. um the book november the first um dying to live and you'd be surprised who are struggling suffering out there that feel like there's no hope life is just miserable depressed overwhelmed with life don't want to live you're going to hear from this man of god that's going to bring it hot off the press yeah. dying to live let's celebrate him right now i'm looking forward to this book we're going to promote your book we're going to bring you back into the studio when it come out we're going to push this book thank you. because thank somebody needs to hear thank dying you. to live thank you, thank you. all right thank so you. listen pastor what are some great things that are happening that's coming up in the baltimore metropolitan area in the Glen? Bernie area that you would like to put out? Wow, um, we have a lot of things happening. Um, again, as my wife had said, we're a newly planted church, not a new church, but right. a newly planted in that, church a new in area. the mm -hmm. Glen Burnie area. It's new to us. Okay. And so we, we're very excited. The harvest is, is so ripe awesome. in that area. Um, it seems almost, it's an untapped area. Uh, area. Mm -hmm. Very, very uh, low. Um, it hasn't been uh, toiled. The, the okay. land has not been toiled. Wow. Mm. So, so it, 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 we really sense that God has us where Planet. we want to be. We're planted where we want to be. We have a beautiful facility. We're going to have to come out God there. God has blessed us with an incredible facility wow. that, um, that's really conducive for to ministry. To be able to do your to ministry. Do ministry. Yes. yes. And so we're excited. We just have a lot of things. You know, the theme for our, our, our ministry this year is all things new. Wow, and all so, things new. And when I tell you, God has done just that. All things, all things new. new. All things right. are I mean, I didn't know what I was saying when I when I when we when we put that in place, but uh, God knew. He so knew. so he knew that when you say all things new, I'm going to make all things new. I was, I mean, down to. Uh, new equipment. I mean, oh, the Lord the stuff God. just breaking, and we had to get new, new stuff. stuff. So, so all so things everything new. <laughs> was new. Everything was new. Well, let me ask yeah. you something. With that being said, Pastor, you're saying all things new. Do you believe that because you are connected to the right person in this season, you're over, you know, that's overlooking, that's helping you mm -hmm. and strengthening, strengthening you in the impact kingdom ministry? Mm -hmm. Do you think that plays a major part when you get new connections sure. in your life? All things become new. Sure. 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 I'm actually hearing that. I, uh, I think you're blessed by association. Okay, you're blessed um, by association. That's another friend of mine's book. I'm not going to plug All his right. book. It's coming up. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I, I think you're blessed by association. Um, Sunday, this past Sunday, I preached a message. Um, it was called, What You See is What You Get. And oh, wow. the, the, the subtitle was entitled, I'm Seeing Double. It was the story wow. of Elijah and Elisha. And what I was really talking about or 
I tried to get to the end result, but the, the Lord just really, really, really met us. But what, I, what, what kept sticking to, to me was this whole issue of the mantle and mm -hmm. how when Elisha was just plowing in the field, chasing behind donkeys, oxen, mm -hmm. oxen, um, following stupid and stubborn stuff. Right. And out of nowhere, here comes Elijah, the man of God, and just casts his mantle on him. And his life was changed forever by that one experience where somebody who did not know him, who was not related to him by blood, saw something in him that said, you have a future and a destiny. Mm -hmm. You can be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on you where you're going even where, while you are where you are right now. This man is awesome. He's preaching and, right now. Sorry, let me stop. I hear a preaching spirit coming. Out. And so, and so and, and I'm, I'm a firm believer that I am, and uh, it's, it's not just even my current connections. Um, I, I believe some of the prior or, or well, some past. of the mm -hmm. past connections mm -hmm. have even helped shape me wow. into who I am. Um, and and, and, and I, the Bible says you have many instructors, but not many fathers. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have more than one. Wow. You know, I have I have three um, men that I that there. I put really really wanna... um, believe God has um, put them in my life. I'm gonna say four. Um, mm -hmm. That God has put them in my life for such a time as this. The first one I have to say is my spiritual father, Bishop Franklin Cornelius Showell. Oh. Um, he I was birthed out of his ministry. Yes. Everything that I am, everything that I have, I sat under his tutelage. I yeah, he's served awesome him. Man of God. I. I, I I was just his son. I submitted to him. Not was. I am his son. Oh, I'm yes. still submitted to him, That's and I will be forever. That is my. That is that is the God in the earth for me. And I understand wow. God's voice because the first time I heard God's voice, it came through him. Oh, wow. Um. So I I received the Holy Ghost under his. So ministry. we celebrate so him, Bishop Showell. Absolutely so well. celebrate my well. leader, Bishop Franklin Familiar Showell. Mm -hmm. Um. Interestingly enough, the next person that I want to say is my brother. Wow. Um, and his name is James Lee. Because <laughs> he's a junior, James wow. Lee Wilson Jr. He's just a, he's always been my hero. Okay, you know, he's been a, a mentor wow. forever. And he has an awesome ministry in South Carolina. Um, I just, he just called me the other day a couple of weeks ago and said, Scott, guess what, man? Um, I'm about to preach at the Potter's house. And Ooh, he ministered at awesome. Bishop Jakes' church wow. last Sunday. Awesome. So, um, you, you know, when I was talking about that unfortunate advantage, right. <laughs> you know, but, but, but he's always been been that voice of reason and wisdom in my life and so I celebrate him um, Dr. Darnell Leach okay, who is out of uh, awesome. Forest Maryland, Maryland. Maryland. Um, Maryland. Shiloh Maryland. Abundant Life yes. Church he came in my life at a very pivotal point and just helped to even continue to father me and prepare wow. me for ministry and mm -hmm. prepare me for marriage and mm -hmm. for being a man and you know mm -hmm. he's just always been there to help me in the times that I've needed him him and his wife Dr. Anita Leach they are awesome people. and they are awesome yes. people I yes. celebrate them. Yes. And of course, last but not least, Dr. James yes. L. Carter. All right, let's Dr. celebrate James these men of God that yes. played a major role in his life and impacted his life mm -hmm. to be the man of God that he is today. Again, you have been tuned into the Lady O Show. I have again Pastor Rosen that's here that has shared and enlightened us so greatly about some of the great things that are going on in his area. He's new to that area, but I believe that he's about to go and impact and a greater way. Again, I need you to call us again at 1-855-835-5857. That's extension 1. We only have about one minute and a half and the clock is going down but this has been an awesome show on tonight again i need him to put that address out there to let him know where you're located what the times of your services what's going on and again mm -hmm. okay the address of the um location again is 900 south crane highway in Glen Burnie, maryland uh, the zip code is 21061 um, our service times are sunday mornings mm -hmm. at 11 a.m and then we do Tuesday night Bible study at 7:30 p.m. And um, we also have on the Bible study we can uh, you can call in on the conference number. line. I'm trying to pull it up now um, to get that number so people can call in on Tuesdays and be blessed. If they can't make it to the Glen Burnie area, they can always call. And that number is one two one eight five four eight 
3120. And the code is 452742. Again, thank you, Pastor Rosen, First Lady, for coming in to be on the Lady O Show. This is history breaking. We have interviewed our great leaders from all over the world, but I believe this was one of the greatest shows on tonight. They were so transparent. They talked with us about what ministry is all about, all things new, what I love about the book information. We're going to celebrate this book when it comes out. We're going to launch it with you, help you with the launch, thank put you. you on the air. Again, thank you. You have tuned into the Lady O Show. We will be back on next Thursday with some awesome information. Thank you.